talk about today are the couple of uh, ungrouping subtraction methods that we've learned in class here today. Again, these are going to be different from the ones that you've learned uh, when you were younger. Um, the first one is the expanded method. If you remember from our previous videos, we talked about what the expanded form of these numbers are. So you can see I've taken a problem that we've done before, 134 minus 58, and I've turned it into a, an expanded version of the same problem. So here's my 134 uh, minus my 50 and my 8. Okay? So kind of like the show all totals method in addition, we're kind of doing that here for subtraction. Now, when you want to do your ungrouping here, if you're using the expanded method, you can do it either left to right or right to left. So I'll do it both ways for you here. If I start on the left, I'm looking to see if I can subtract. 100 minus uh, nothing, can I do that? Yep, okay. So now I keep going down the line here. Can I do 3 tens minus 5 tens? Nope. I'm going to need more tens. Where do I get them from? The 100. I'm going to ungroup it. So instead of 3 tens, I'm going to have 13 tens, which is 130. Okay? So now I'm good here. I'm going to keep going down, left to right. Uh, 4 ones minus 8 ones. Can I do it? No, I need more ones. Where can I get more ones? Hmm. How about from one of these tens? Instead of 13 tens, why don't I turn this into 12 tens? One of those tens here, I'm going to give it to the ones. So instead of having just four ones, I'm going to have 14 ones. After I've done my ungrouping here, now I can subtract. Uh, 12 tens minus 5 tens is, I don't know, 7 tens. And I've got nothing here, so 70 plus 6 is 76. Now I can also do the same thing uh, going right to left. So starting down here on the end, can I do 4 ones minus 8 ones? Nope. Where can I get more ones? How about from one of these tens? Instead of 3 tens, let me turn it into 2 tens. Okay? I'm going to do all my ungrouping first. Uh, let's see. Am I good here? 2 tens minus 5 tens? No, I need more tens. Where can I get more tens? How about from the 100 here? So instead of 2 tens, I'm going to make it 12 tens. Now, you'll notice that this one ends up looking exactly like this one, although we arrived at it in, in a different way. Now that I've done all of my ungrouping, I can do my subtraction. Uh, and that's going to be the same answer as before, so 70 plus 6 is uh, 76. Another way to do it is to do all of your ungrouping first, just like I did, except not in expanded form. Again, we can go right to left or left to right. If I'm going to do all my ungrouping first, then I have to um, do it all before I do my subtraction. So left to right, same thing. Uh, 1 minus 0, I'm good. 3 minus 5, eh, that's not going to work. So I have to get uh, 10 more tens from the 100. That makes that 13. I'm not going to subtract yet. I'm going to do all of my ungrouping first. So now I'm going to check down here. Am I good? 4 ones minus 8 ones? And no, I'm going to need to get more ones. How about instead of 13 tens, I make that 12 tens, and I'll take one of those tens and turn this 4 into a 14. After I've done all of my ungrouping, then I can subtract. I can also do my ungrouping um, right to left. Just like we did with the expanded method, 4 ones minus 8 ones, that won't work. I need to take one of these tens and take this 4 and turn it into a 14. Now I'm going left to right, so I'm checking my tens column. Two tens minus five tens, that won't work. I need more tens. So instead of two tens, let's make it 12 tens. Again, you'll notice that these end up looking the same. Doesn't matter if you go left to right or right to left. But if you're going to do ungrouping first, go all the way down, left to right or right to left, then do your subtraction. Okay? So six, uh, what is that? Seven, six, right? And again, after I've done my grouping, I can even go this way, hundreds to ones, doesn't matter. Okay? The last method is the one that we're probably most familiar with. The difference here, uh, this is the way we learned in school, the difference here is you always have to go right to left starting with the ones. And you're going to alternate ungrouping and subtracting. Okay? So 
uh, four ones minus eight ones can't do it. Just the same as what we did before. I'm going to get ten more ones from the tens. But now, instead of keep going with my ungrouping, I'm going to do my subtraction. So 14 minus 8. As soon as you can do the subtracting, you do it. Can I subtract 2 tens minus 5 tens? No. I need to get more tens. So that's 12 tens now. I unpack these. I ungroup the 100 into 10 more tens. So 12 tens minus 5 tens, that's 7 tens. Okay? So the only difference is you uh, do your subtraction as soon as you can with this method.